It's Sunday the 11th of May 2008. For millions of people, it's just another ordinary day. Meanwhile, at earthquake monitoring stations around the world, there's nothing special to report. What no one knows is that 24 hours later, an extraordinary natural disaster is going to strike. The rescue operation is underway after a power... 7.28 this morning, sending shockwaves around Asia. A magnitude of 7.8 struck Sichuan province. An enormous earthquake tears into Sichuan province in western China. Over 50 million people are affected. 5 million lose their homes. And 70,000 die. And all because science can't answer what seems like a simple question. In the last 100 years, earthquakes have killed over a million people. And with the growth in the world's population, scientists predict that this century might see 10 times as many deaths. So why can't we work out when and where the next big quake is going to happen? The more work we do on earthquake prediction, the more difficult it seems it's going to be. You, you start to think you see patterns and understand them and then when you try to play the game forward and look for those patterns, it just hasn't ever panned out. If you were a seismologist and you knew how to predict earthquakes, uh, you've arrived. So why is earthquake prediction so difficult? And what is science doing to overcome this force of nature? If you want to know about earthquakes, this is the place to come, California. America's Golden State lives in the constant shadow of an enormous earthquake. And because of this, they throw more money into studying these disasters than anywhere else. At the heart of this effort is the United States Geological Survey. They tell 